uh, today we will start with the basic uh, portrait of a old lady uh, and uh, we are doing it with a pencil sketch and today we will require a uh, thick uh, cartridge sheet or uh, any chart paper or any white color ivory sheet or chart paper you can go for which should be a thick and you will need a few shades of uh, pencils I am preferring you for the Stadler company this is the best company I prefer to all my students <coughs> you can go for the HB pencil, 6H pencil, 6B pencil, uh, 4H pencils and you will need a Stadler double E pencil also which is an extra dark pencil uh, these are the uh, materials you will require we are with the sharpener eraser and uh, uh, we are starting this pro probably with uh, some basic reasons we are moving with pencils on uh, portraits the uh, first reason is uh, you have to understand the uh, analogy between the eyes, nose, lips uh, to understand these shapes uh, uh, which we discussed earlier and uh, we, in previous session we discussed only eyes, lips and nose individually but this is the first first portrait uh, initial, initial stage we are covering and the portrait is the assembly of all such small elements like nose, lips, ears, eyes and also drop and we are doing with a grayscale just to understand the value of the lights and shadows and we purposefully uh, haven't uh, uh, doing with the colors right now because we have to understand the first uh, stage that is to understand the lights and the shadows of any object or any subject in the depth so before starting this portrait I will uh, I want to give you a few tips that uh, <coughs> while holding the pencils you have to hold it uh, far away from the nib to make a rough sketch and a rough sketch you should make very lightly and with easy manner you don't have to work hard and to get uh, the lines exact one to one replica it is not at all necessary in the rough sketch and avoid using eraser in fact don't use the eraser at all I will suggest you and if you are still finding hard uh, to work out with these portraits uh, inform me inform me that uh, which step you are getting hard I will make a better solution for you and uh, but don't work throughout the eraser and working hard with pencils don't uh, put too much pressure on your pencil on your uh, through your paper on your paper through a pencil so not wasting your time uh, let's start with the work today so let's start so starting the portrait on the hairs so darkest part of the portrait is the hairs the black jacket the back side of the hairs so we'll make the marking of these dark parts first so if you observe keenly there are few shapes of which these portraits can be divided in smaller parts so this is the dark straight line this is the box type these are the borders of the portraits in short so we'll just uh, make a rough layout of these borders so step by step I will explain you how I am making the rough borders and look it alike so if observe keenly there is a uh, this type of shape is there of the hairs so I'll make this type of shape of my hairs I'm holding a 4H pencil which is uh, too much light and holding it back side rather than holding it in the front to get the pressure and this line is getting divided into two parts this is one it is bending two it is three it is four so it is one this two this three this four so i bend this part of that line and making just the outline of the hairs and the direction which is given outline this part I can see a letter V inverted V here so I make letter V in this shape some hairs are downside of the forehead so this line extending it towards the forehead this 
this is the four headlines this is the cheekbones outline of the cheekbones it is of the letter m this a m or inverted w you can see so you have to just mark out this face and uh, roughly not making it too much dark because these are just rough lines which i am going which i am showing to you the neck line and uh, coming back to the face again this is the end point of the hairs so i'm making just a rough layout of this line and this ears are located just below the eyes so at this stage i will just mark the eye ears these are the markings in this way i am proceeding further these dark lines as the inverted letter 3 written here in this shape So we have to copy this letter three, and I am making it in square form. This letter three. So this is the just rough sketch which I made up to here. Now proceeding further for the eyes and nose. So if observe clearly, this ears and the nose are on the same height. So I'll make ears and nose of the same height. This is the part of my ears. So extending it further, I'll get the nose shape, nose height. Not doing it in detail, rough layout. Having these cheeks, marking of these two cheeks. In this manner, making the lips assembled in these cheeks. So this is the my end point. This distance, this point, this distance is just below the nose, just below this. I'm getting. I can even make marking of the lips. Not making it too much dark, and neither going for the details at this stage. So you just have to keep. This is the eyes. Uh, nose and the eyes parts. So this is uh, my nose. I'm capturing in the eyes, the eyebrows, this shape of the eyebrows. I'm making it here. The eyes part. This eyeball. This is the eyes. Similarly, working on this area, I'm just getting it. In this way. So it is the just rough sketch I made, and it, they are, I haven't done any detail work on it. just put up the markings here and few of them here and there it may go so we we'll work that later on these are the folds i think they are not unable to see it when you these are the dark parts wrap tan it i am making pers purpose fully light so just try to understand the bottom line why i am making it light i have to make it as light as possible for me so that only i can understand these shapes this is the end part the paper 
so i expect you to see this video again and again because this is the rough sketch and uh, probably you may find it hard or you may find it easy depending on the level which you are at present so these are the just rough layouts if you are still able to do this uh, if you are able to do this then it's well and good and if you are unable to make such rough layouts then please let me know i'll uh, make a uh, find a solution for you a simple solution for you and i will introduce with you with the graph method uh, generally i avoid that method graph method i don't use that graph method but if this sketch is going hard for you then uh, i will definitely share that technique with you and hope so you will try this and show me the mistakes you are getting and uh, let's see you soon in the next video till then have a good luck bye